Hey, my name is Joshua. And I'm Don. And this is what's popping. We're here at the Monkey and Elephant Cafe at 29th and Gerard, which is located in North Philly. This cafe hires youth that have aged out of the foster care system, and we're here to interview the founder and some of their employees. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Lisa Nicholas, the founder and executive director of the Monkey and Elephant Cafe. So Lisa, can you tell me what inspired you to open the Monkey and Elephant Cafe? My professional experience is mostly working in coffee shops as a barista and a manager. And I realized that there was an opportunity to leverage the community of the coffee shop as a support system for youth who otherwise don't have it, while also giving an opportunity to work on job skills, communication skills, and addressing any barriers that those individuals might have during that time. So what have your experiences been like working at the Monkey Elephant Cafe? Um, I could say overall my experiences have been good. Uh, I've got to meet a lot of different customers from all walks of life. My experience has been actually very good because everybody, when I first got here, made sure that I learned the ropes. So when I came here, it was like an easy transition. Can you tell us about your life skills program? Sure. So while the youth are working here in the coffee shop, they also uh, complete a series of 10 exercises and those exercises really range. Um, there's one about budgeting, track their expenses for two weeks and see kind of where the money's going and what changes they can make to um, be in a better financial situation. They're all aimed at building kind of self-awareness, self-reflection and encouraging um, the individuals to step out of their comfort zone and try some new things. I'm at, actually in school right now at community college and my boss Lisa she like showed me like all these extra grants that was like specifically made for like people that was in like foster youth for like in coffee shops and like I was able to get like extra scholarships that like I probably wouldn't like went out and found myself because I didn't have those resources. We learned that unemployment is a high issue within the foster care system. Can you give us your opinion on that? Um, well I, I can agree with that because it's mainly when you're in a system you're so used to stuff being done for you that it's like when you age out you don't really quite grasp the concept of being independent. So enduring that within a system is kind of hard for a foster youth to age out and know automatically what it's like to have a job. Because I know when I was in foster care at 16, I had I had working papers so I could work. But once I aged out, the boss basically dropped. It's just like, all right, you know what, Here, here's everything. You're on your own. Why is it important for employers to hire youth that have been in foster care? I think for a lot of reasons. I think that um, if we don't give youth that have been in foster care an opportunity to start to learn how to function in a workplace setting and to be professional and hold a job and be accountable, um, then they're not going to have the opportunity to learn how to support themselves in the long run. And I think that employers will ultimately, everyone will benefit if less money is being spent on prisons is being spent on welfare systems. And I think the more employers can kind of wrap their heads around how to make that work and recognizing that the uh, perfect employee maybe is not the best long-term employee, but that somebody who needs a little bit more guidance at the onset could be a huge asset to you, that company in the long run. If there's a message that you have for the youth of foster care, what is it? Prepare yourself for like the life that's about to come and just make sure that you take care of yourself. We have a voice and sometimes if someone can sit willing to sit down and talk to us, they'll see that we're more than just more than just a face. We have a story and we're human too. So once again, my name's Josh. My name's Kevon. And, and that's, that's what's popping. popping.